Crafty Purple Dragon channel. Today we've got an unboxing. <clears throat> this feels like a pen. This is a pen. It's smaller than these others that I've got that are similar. So, oh no, let me get it out. Let me get it out. Okay. Come on. Okay. Oh, okay. It's a two placer. Hopefully you can see that. So it's basically got two of the single places in the end. So I thought I'd give that a try. It's pre-waxed. It's a bit small is the only thing I'd say. Like I need chunky pens and I thought, to be honest, it was would be the same size as this. <coughs> but it's... Um, Quite a bit smaller, so I'm not sure that it'll be good for my hands. Pixie! Sorry about the dog. So that's that. That's an AliExpress. Uh, come here! Pix, come here! Quiet, please. Oh, that's right. Come and sit in front of me and belch in my face. It's lovely. <coughs> right, let's have a look. Good girl, be quiet. That's that one. Confirm received. So that was. I should have looked at it before I confirmed received. <coughs> One piece diamond painting tool, diamond embroidery accessories. It was 74 pence and 58 shipping. And that was one pound thirty one altogether. That, that didn't add, add up to one pound thirty one. They undercharged me by a penny. Okay, so that's that. That was ordered on the fifteenth of April. And it was received on the 26th of April. £1.31 for that. So next we have... Put that over there. We've got this. So there's a canvas that's restrained with these plastic elastic bands. Let's get rid of them. Quite tough. I'll just leave that to relax. So it's arrived in a bubble, a padded mailing envelope <clears throat> so we have pen with a three placer two small squares of wax bent metal tweezers there's a few bags in there maybe about 
a handful and the white plastic tray with the funnel. This is, hopefully you can see that, I'll stick a picture in front anyway. This is the first in our series of abstract style diamond paintings. So if you go to AliExpress, this which is where I did it, and you type in abstract diamond painting, that's what I did, and I ordered a few of the paintings that came up that appealed to me. So this is from Home Fun official store. It was ordered on the 18th of April and it arrived uh, dispatched on the 19th and it arrived on the 26th of April. It's a 30 by 40 full square. Uh, Six pounds 94 it was. Let's have a look at how many colours it has. Oh dear. So the drills are in the large drill bag. This is good. I like this where the plastic is. A contrasting colour so that you can clearly see the numbers on the bags. This has 39 colours. Wow, it's a lot. So it tells me code on the canvas, DMC number how many beads of that number you need for this painting and how many packs they've given you. So if you don't want to see the inventory you can skip past it. Uh, so, three or one. Three. Seven one two. Ooh, that's a nice colour. Seven seven two. Seven two two. That down. Oh yeah, that's right. Seven. Good job, my hands know what I'm doing because I don't. Seven three two. Seven hundred. Seven Nine three six. Five. Eight ninety. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Oh, I needed thirteen, I got fourteen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, yeah. And one up on those. Ooh, that's not got a white stripe on it, that's annoying. 6041. 
Three eight three nine two three eight three nine two three eight three zero one one three double seven two three wow really three seven double nine Five, two, three, seven, two, one, three, two, zero, eight. That's a nice color. Two, zero, eight, six, two, four, six, three, seven, five, zero, one, nine, five, six. Two and three nine. Two of those. Three seven five six one and nine double two five. And I think. Excuse me, that's right. Oh, I've got a little bead there. So that's good. Everything's there. Let's have a look at some of the beads. Gorgeous colour. Have I got square? I've not got the glasses on, but they look square. It's a bit of a grey day today, so I'm not sure what the lighting's like. They look nice. It's a nice bright colour, 995. Okay, so I'll put these away. And we'll look at the canvas. Alright, I'm just going to dump. Dump, shake, and hope for the best. Right, I think that's everything. It generally, more or less, sorts itself out when you do it like that. Straighten up the other few. Spread them about a bit. There we go. Right, now I need to check that the code is right for the canvas. Let's just write the code on there. A one treble zero one three zero six two. Let's see what Google Translate makes of that writing.
colour bird landscape they've called it I've called it abstract garden <laughs> so there, trills are good let's have a look at the leave the edge of the table so you guys Got that so I can use the edge of the table, please. So it's come on a foam car, a little mini fat one, really fat one, no hole in the middle. What is it? It's a 30 by 40. size. Something under here. Oh, it's those elastic bands. All right, dog. Shh. So there's a thumbnail and the legend is on the right hand side. There's only one. Code is not easy to see because it's covered up, so let's lift carefully from this corner. The adhesive goes right up, virtually right up to the edge of the canvas here, and it's about halfway across this edge. Let me just reveal the code A1001360. That's correct. So I don't have to worry about not being able to find the painting or beads when I come to do it. Now the codes are all quite dark, aren't they? Well, the canvas looks lovely. I can't see any now the sticky on the bottom edge doesn't come outside of the painting. Um, it's really sticky. <laughs> really sticky. Um, just trying to look at the canvas. I can't see any issues with the canvas whatsoever. Absolutely. 100%. Get off me! Oh my god! <laughs> Didn't want to let me go. The codes. They all look printed clearly. Some of them would cause me problems, but I use a light pad so it should be fine. Again, there's some, some colours which are really quite dark but they've still put a black character symbol whereas really they maybe should have gone with white but a lot of a lot of canvases seem to do that I've found a little bit of a crease there that I can see but it's, it goes all the right so that I don't know if you can see it that that runs all the way up and across the painting there'll be probably another one on this side if I can see it. This side isn't too bad. But that's where the elastic band was. So that's good, I like it. I mean it looks very messy, it's probably going to be. But I like um, confetti. I'm not really big on colour blocking myself. I like hunting. <laughs> hunting for the colour that I'm using. So 
I'll just open it up this other end just to even out the paper at the top or the cover paper on top. So out this other short end in terms of adhesive overlap there's about half a centimetre, something like that. So that is more or less the full image. And like I say the canvas is perfect. Let's have a measure. It is a square, so I'm expecting the picture to have the dimensions stated. So it's supposed to be a 30 by 40. What did I do with my tape measure? Oh no! Tape measure's gone missing. What the hell? Get this, use this one instead. Right, so the picture starts there. And, yep, yeah, that's 40. Picture starts there. 30, just under 30. So, yeah, it's the image that's 30 by 40. So, there we go. And that was from Home Fun Official Store, £6.94 for a 30 by 40 full square. See you next time. <laughs>